Hey, I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be going over our new version of Flickr Free. So we finally have a 2.0 version of it. So we're pretty fired up about it, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna go over some of the basic parameters. It's really just kind of a overview tutorial, nothing too much of a deep dive. But we'll go over the parameters, show the new features, and uh, let's dive into it. All right, so the first thing that I have to call out if you're in one of the Adobe apps is that, especially, well, on the Mac, you need to make sure that your project settings, in the case of Premiere, pro, you know, file, project settings, general, that the Mercury engine is set to OpenCL. Um, by default, it sets to metal. And if that is selected and you apply Flickr Free, as I'm gonna do right now, in your effects palette, under video effects, under digital anarchy, you'll find Flickr Free, and we'll drop that onto our clip. And you'll see you get the red bar that indicates that this is not a GPU accelerated plugin. And that's because it is not a GPU accelerated plugin if you are using Metal. Uh, we have an update, it will be a free update, coming for Metal soon, but right now, Flickr Free doesn't support it, and so it's only OpenCL. And so you want the Mercury Playback Engine to be set to OpenCL. And so I'm going to do that. And now Premiere has the yellow bar, which means it sees it as a GPU accelerated plugin. Uh, if you're in After Effects on the Mac, After Effects doesn't support OpenCL at all. And so at this time, we're recommending that you do the deflickering pass in Premiere. Um, otherwise, you're going to be rendering on the CPU and you're not going to get any of the GPU goodness that we've uh, added into Flickr Free 2.0. It'll just be the same speed as Flickr Free 1. So that's something very, very important to know if you're on a Mac and using the Adobe apps. Again, you wanna make sure the Mercury Engine is set to OpenCL. Um, on PC, it doesn't really matter. Uh, OpenCL or CUDA are supported. Um, it's all good, but on the Mac, it's a thing. And if you batch render this in Adobe Media Encoder, you need to make sure that it's set to OpenCL there as well, because it will default to Metal as well. All right, so now that we've got kind of that housekeeping thing out of the way, let's uh, dive into Flickr Free. Uh, you can see that we have kind of an expanded preset list. Um, by default, it goes to rolling bands. This, this was kind of the preset that we were recommending people use for Flickr Free 1, and it's now the default. Uh, but you can see that we still have time lapse and slow motion, and um, those are under the faster heading. And these are all basically Flickr Free 1 presets uh, because the Flickr Free 1 functionality is the stuff that's really gotten a lot faster. Uh, once you start adding in the Flickr Free 2 features, it slows things down a bit, but for footage that has a lot of camera motion or subject motion, dancers, sports events, whatever, um, this is gonna be much, give you much better results than Flickr Free 1 would have. Um, so if Flickr Free 1 worked well in the past, it's now faster. If it didn't work at all on your footage, it now perhaps will, because we have a lot better compensation for motion and being able to, to handle it uh, without blurring and we'll see a little bit about that in this tutorial. So those are the presets. Uh, there's some new ones. Obviously, there's some new ones that use the uh, uh, new features. And I'm gonna turn off Detect Motion. So we'll just start with Detect Motion off. And as you can see in this clip, there is a lot of motion. Let's turn off Flickr Free and just play it back. We have our Director of IT Obsolescence, Callie getting some salami treats, but she's gonna have to do a trick to get it. And she's not super enthused about it, but she's willing to put up with it. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of camera movement. Uh, there's a lot of movement with the dog, with Callie, with, with her owner. And this is the type of thing that Flickr Free 1 would have had a really hard time with. And I will show you why. So let's turn on Flickr Free again. Uh, sensitivity, time radius, and threshold are exactly the way they were in Flickr Free 1. The only difference is they've been sped up with the GPU. Um, and so if we jump to a frame where there's a lot of motion, you can see that without any 
motion compensation at all with that with the compensation turned off this is one of the new flicker free 2 features which i'll get to in a second uh you can see there's a lot of ghosting because of the way the camera camera is moving now if i turn detect motion on and the fast option is the algorithm that was in uh, flicker free 1.0 so these are essentially flicker free 1.0 settings right here and they're a lot faster than uh, what flicker free one would have been uh, on average we're seeing about 300 to 400 percent increase in speed uh, so we're pretty stoked about that but you'll notice that if i turn flicker free off and you can see this in the floor here and cali as well that there's a lot of blurring flicker free on and with it off and so that's one of the things that happens with uh, the older detect motion um, it does fix the ghosting to a large degree but there still is a lot of blurring happening um, and we can do better than that and so in this case we're now going to turn on motion compensation and you can see that this blurring is going to go away. It does a much better job of keeping the frame looking like the original. So if I turn flicker free off, you'll see that really the only thing that's happening here is we're getting rid of the flicker. And that's going to be really hard to see on this YouTube video, but you can download the Kali footage yourself and play around with it. And you'll be able to see exactly what the difference is. So for this situation, it works a lot better if you have motion compensation turned on and the text motion set to fast. So let's jump to another frame. And this one has a lot of motion in it. This is where Kelly is about to dive for the treat. And so if I turn off all the things, you can see what that looks like. And that's definitely not a good look. Um, and I can turn on detect motion and that makes things better, but we still have a lot of blurriness happening. So if I turn flicker free off, we can see what the real frame looks like. Not terrible, but you know, there's still some blurring in there. Uh, and then when I turn motion compensation on, we really get back to what the original frame looked like. So now if I turn flicker free off, you'll see that there really isn't much difference in how the footage looks. However, if I turn off detect motion and just have motion compensation on, you'll see that it does not look as good. So in this situation, uh, we wanna have motion compensation turned on and we wanna have detect motion turned on. Now, all of this stuff slows Flickr free down. Um, you know, if you can get away with not having detect motion turned on and not having motion compensation turned on, it's gonna render out faster and that's a big part of this new release is being able to render this stuff out much faster. But if you get into situations where you have footage that just doesn't respond to the basic flicker free settings, then you can start turning on detect motion, start turning on motion compensation, maybe set detect motion to the slow algorithm, which is new, um, but it is slow, especially if you have motion compensation turned on. Um, so I'll select slow, set my render pop up to show mask and there'll probably be a tutorial that deep dives into this a little bit but basically what happens with detect motion is it's building a motion mask all the black areas are where there's motion happening where the pixels are changing from frame to frame and we're trying to adjust things based on that uh, the cool thing about the slow option is that you can make changes to this so we can set the mask radius to say two, and that's gonna give us much finer detail. And generally when I've used this successfully, uh, it's usually with a lower mask radius and mask threshold around five or 10 is, is good. But it just gives you a lot more control over the mask. Uh, it does a better job of creating the mask. And so slow is a pretty good option, but as the name implies, it's slow. It's gonna slow your renders down. So it's really kind of a uh, option of last resort if uh, the flicker is not being fixed any other way. But in this case, we're gonna set it back to fast because that's a good 
option for this footage. Uh, if you have it set to fast, the mask threshold and mask radius options don't apply. You can't really adjust the fast mask at all. And so now we're going to set render back to the flicker, which will show our original footage. Uh, the sensitivity, time radius, threshold are all the same as flicker free one. Uh, they are now all GPUI, so those should render much faster. Motion compensation uses something called optical flow, which is you might be familiar with from retiming plugins uh, to you know fake slow motion or turn your footage into slow motion footage. Uh, it's the same technology that we're using here. Uh, detect motion, uh, again, this is another thing that will slow the render down a little bit. So if you can get away with having it off, that's great. If not, the fast option is the flicker free one option and that is now dramatically sped up. Uh, and then slow is the new algorithm, which sometimes can be better, but uh, it is definitely gonna slow the render down. So that's really it for the overview. Uh, like I said, we will be doing other tutorials that deep dive into different aspects of this. And of course you can check out the manual for a little bit more information about uh, these different parameters and exactly how they work. But hopefully that's enough to get you started. And like I said, you can grab this Kali footage and download that and try it out for yourself. Try some of these different settings, see how they work or don't work on your machine. Um, obviously, the faster the GPU you have, uh, the better off you're going to be. All right, so head on over to digitalanarchy.com and there's plenty of other tutorials there. We also have some entirely free plugins that you can check out. Uh, just need, you just need to register for them and then you can download those. We have something called Flickr Freak, which lets you add Flickr to your video if you're doing like a horror film or something. Always a cool little effect. So head over to digitalanarchy.com. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or reach out via email at sales at digitalanarchy.com. Always happy to help you guys out. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for joining me.